Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your very first dev server gameplay and overview of the MiG-21 Bison. This is a currently rank 8 battle rating 12.0 premium fighter in the British air tech tree, although of course flies under the Indian flag, which is just absolutely bonkers, right? In War Thunder, Great Britain now has in its tech tree the best and most capable MiG-21 in game isn't that something i never thought i'd say it but here we are this vehicle even though it does have the same engine as the mig 21 bis with the tomonsky r25 300 it's got the same engine and all that it's avionics and it's weapon suite is where this thing really changes for one this thing has a much 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 better radar i believe it's pulse doppler as well uh, at least that's what it looked like in my limited playing of this vehicle thus far and of course also has much better weaponry so let's go ahead and take a look at that you can carry r27 r1s r27 t1s and r73 e's as well as of course drop tanks some s8 ko's not all too crazy some actually 1000 pound bombs these are not kilogram weighted rather pound weighted and of course you also have tv guided bombs which makes this thing somewhat capable insofar as cas is concerned so overall you have a pretty competent package with this aircraft so not all too bad and to top it all off you also have a helmet mounted display that's right wherever you look is where your missiles will lock on absolutely bananas also this also has 120 large caliber countermeasures that come standard isn't that crazy the only downside on this is that you have 200 rounds for the gsh 23l cannon as opposed to the mig 21 bis having 250 so you do have a little bit worse when it comes to the cannon however everything else is just much much better now that's said let's get into a few matches see how this thing performs on the dev server but man this is crazy i am actually stoked to be flying this and i cannot wait until i get my hands on this on the live server because i will be making a review asap that said let's get into it so i don't know if i made this clear but being that this is the dev server every single stat figure even flight models are subject to change up through the release so once this vehicle is released on the live server, we'll have a better idea of what it will be capable of or what its BR will be. 12.0 BR is by no means set in stone. So you want to bear that in mind. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a brain fart while flying, but it's not set in stone. Also, R73Es this has, R27T1 and R1. I want to equip all of them. That way you could kind of get a better idea. Go ahead and fire the R1 now. One thing you want to mention or make uh, remember here when it comes to the dev server is that I'm facing all bots. Unfortunately, I cannot control who I face, uh, so you just kind of have to deal with it. Now, we do have a nice easy kill. Let's go ahead and see. And we have the T1 variant right there. Can I hit him? Should be easy. And R27's rule. Now, as I said before, this does have a helmet-mounted display. As you can see, anywhere that that circle is, is where these missiles will go. R73s are thrust vectoring, which means that they have excellent maneuvering capabilities, which is just fantastic. And of course, they are all aspect, which is, again, fantastic. They are just a bit closer range, however, so you do want to remember that um, as we kind of move into this. So I'm going to probably go for this F4E. Maybe not. My team is wrecking the uh, the enemy. So let's see if I can hit this guy with my thrust vectoring. And I can't. Just barely missed him. I'll be damned. Okay, well, that's bound to happen sometimes, I guess. It was just too steep of a turn. Uh, but it is what it is. So we have this F5 here. Let's see about how long it takes for me to lock on. And there we go. He's not going to... Um, he's not going to flare off because he's a bot. Bots don't flare off. But again, we have 120 countermeasures on this thing, which is ridiculous. Again, really the only way that this thing does not improve insofar as being over the standard B-21 BIS is going to be in its engine and also uh, the cannon, unfortunately. Now, the cockpit is a bit easier to see out of if you're that type of player. I'm going to go for this MiG-21. Also, you do have uh, radar-guided sights, if that makes any sense. 
I'm gonna see if I can activate that. One of the big problems with MiG-21s is just how much they bleed speed. Let's see... Okay, there we go. As you can see, it does guide my gun a little bit. I'm never all that good with firing these, so my apologies if this looks somewhat ugly. Uh, because, of course, it will be. But, as you can see, it does want to, uh... Ooh, ooh, there we go. Nope. Uh, well, okay, I'll take the assist. As you can see, the gun sights do work with the radar, which is very nice. And again, this is an advanced radar compared to what we saw on the old MiG-21. Uh, but this is what the cockpit looks like as well. So it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Um, nothing all too crazy. I think it's upgraded, the cockpit. But again, anything that you see here is subject to change. So that's it. Let's get into another match, see what we can do. Maybe we can face actual players. But again, that's just something, unfortunately, I cannot control, um, you know, in the dev server. That's it. Another match. Oh, and what I was saying before about Pulse Doppler, even though I don't believe I saw it on the, uh, on the hangar screen, it does say Pulse Doppler right there, PD, unless for whatever reason I've been misinterpreting that for like the last year or two. Uh, yeah, this does have Pulse Doppler mode. Now, that being said, uh, unfortunately, it looks like we are fighting all bots once again. But thankfully, these missiles are already in-game. This is not some new crazy feature. Again, rather, what this is is just some abomination of a marriage between these missiles and a MiG-21, which is what we have. And again, which is what makes Great Britain the holder of the best MiG-21 in-game. And just kind of a side note here, my own commentary on this, I'm a huge fan of close quarters combat at and around top tier when it comes to aircraft. It is one of my favorite things in War Thunder, and having an aircraft like this is fantastic. Like, MiG-21s, insofar as just a general type of aircraft in War Thunder, they are among my favorite because they are fast, they are powerful, they've got decent enough guns, good missiles, great turning capabilities, and so it becomes something where it's like, where they dominate, they dominate, right? Like, in their own BRs, they dominate, and this is a full BR up over the next highest BR, MiG-21. And so, will it be good? Will it not be good? Time will tell, you know? We're gonna have to wait and see on that. I've got no clue how good this will be, if it will be good at all, but... Hopefully this injects some some nice um, high tier, which we'll call it, in uh, like uh, close quarters battles in which we'll call it. So I'm gonna go ahead and f ooh, can I fire on this guy? Okay, the missile knows where it is. I think does it? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and try to fire an R1 on this guy. That was funky. Can I hit him? Unless he gets blown out of the sky first. No, yeah, I don't think I'm going to hit him. Well, there you go. So the the thermal guided one uh, did not want to do anything with that first F-104. And then, of course, the radar lost lock on him. No biggie. Again, the entirety, the entire point of this gameplay is to show you guys what these vehicles can do. And it would be disingenuous of me just to kind of show you guys oh well you know this is the, the best gameplay i could muster it's like if i'm showing you guys gameplay where it's perfect and all that especially for a vehicle that costs good hard money that's that's not right you know if there's a fault in a vehicle you guys deserve to know it before you put your money down for it okay so we have this f5 here he is tailing my friend i'm gonna go ahead and lock on Ooh. Something's happening here. Oh, there's that thrust vectoring. It seems like it may have worked, and it did this time. I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot down this F-4E. Can I? Nope. Again, I'm not that good when it comes to the radar-guided gun sights, but it is what it is. I I'm just better at eyeballing it. I don't like trusting them. They're computers. Okay, F4E right here, and got the kill. Very nice, very fun. 
And so, here we are. I guess we have three kills, two with the R73s. You guys had a better idea of what R73s can do in close range. And really, that's what they do best, right? Close range. That's what they're built for. They do have IR... What was it? IRCCM, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, which means that they do resist flares. Again, if I'm not mistaken, let's go ahead and check. And... R73Es, yes, they do have IRCCM, so they do resist flares, which is awesome. Uh, and much the same goes for the R27T1. So these both have, these have two resistant flare things. Also, tactical ballistic missiles. This is a new one. I don't think I've ever seen this one before as a ground vehicle. Let's go ahead and shoot this thing. I just destroyed a Scud, I think, right? Would that be a Scud? Anyways... With that said, that's pretty much, I think, the, the whole gist of this. It's basically take a MiG-21 BIS, give it a better radar, give it better missiles, give it more and also better flares as well, and that's more or less what this thing is. It's just dominant. When it, like, when it comes to close quarters air combat at this BR, assuming that it will still exist once Fox 3 comes out, this might be the best one. Uh, at that task in the entire game so with that said thanks so much for watching if you don't mind please consider liking commenting subscribing let me know what other vehicles you might want to see on the dev server and i'd be more than happy to give it a look but either way thanks again i'll see you all on the other side this thing i'm gonna have a fun time with this in the live server take care everyone